Communication is crucial to any healthy connection and is an integral part of all partnerships. Positive communication can help you deal with disagreements and establish a stronger, better relationship. The fact that communication is important is already given, but we don't always understand what it is or how to use it in our relationships. This allows a couple to discuss their personal experiences and values. This can lead to more serious topics, including financial situations. If you want to know more about how soon money should come up in relationships, keep watching. Couples often seek counseling when there are issues in the relationship according to experts. In line with this, you and your partner should always have an equal say in financial decisions because money is a top predictor of whether couples will separate. When you and your partner join finances, you must really discuss your views on money and how you both can handle this jointly. Here are the things you can start talking about with your significant other. Who should pay the bills? It's likely that you and your partner will have different salaries, and those salaries may range immensely. The question is, is it appropriate to split expenses 50-50? The answer is, no. Doing expenses fairly does not always imply doing it equally. Experts recommend that you and your partner set up a direct deposit for your agreed-upon share of the expenses. But you should also prepare to adjust to changes and keep some money in your personal accounts in case of unexpected overages. Discuss your financial goals. It's important to be upfront about your financial situation early on in your relationship. You should talk about it now if one of you is in debt or has very precise financial goals. Talk about how each of your families managed money while you were growing up. This can assist you in establishing clear objectives and determining how quickly you can achieve them. Setting short-term goals can also help save within your budget. Talk about your monthly income, any approaching bills, and how you're doing on your short-term goals, as well as if anything needs to be adjusted. Regular open communication will also help you build stronger trust and eliminate issues. Also, make sure you and your partner have a budget in place to help you stay within your means. Decide if you will have a shared bank account. Knowing what a joint bank account is and how it operates might help you make better financial and relationship decisions. You can embark on a joint account to pool your money and save for common goals like a new car or a vacation in Greece. Having a joint account will allow you both to track money activity and have regular discussions about finances. Certain qualities of joint bank accounts may become problematic in specific circumstances. For instance, financial privacy is compromised because your finances are exposed to one another. It can also make purchasing a gift for your spouse with your card difficult. Having a handy transaction may truly ruin a surprise. With joint accounts, one spouse usually manages the finances, which, depending on the relationship, could be a source of stress and issues. Opening up a joint account with your partner is a huge step. Make sure to ask questions and read the fine print on joint accounts. Trust and communication will be the biggest factor in maintaining a good financial relationship. Talk about each other's debt situation. It's not uncommon for couples to have conflicts due to financial difficulties. Debt especially can make a partner withdraw and become cold, while it can also lead to frequent conflicts. It has all the potential to make you feel terrified, unhappy, stressed, and worried about the future. 
One way to stop feeling like this is being straightforward and honest with your partner about your financial circumstances whenever feasible. It is likely to be awkward, but failing to do so could be considered as a violation of trust, perhaps jeopardizing your relationship. Also, having someone to lean on in your everyday life can make all the difference. Inform them that you are progressing. It's critical that they understand that the issues you're dealing with are temporary and you're doing your best to achieve your goal of debt repayment. Credit scores in committed relationships. Forming a financial tie with your partner is critical, and that includes revealing your credit score, whether it's good or terrible. When it comes to discussing your credit history, it's best if both partners are on the same page. When you and your partner register for a joint account, such as when you want to finally move into a house, credit scores become a problem. If one of you has a low credit score, it may be more difficult to qualify, or you may have to pay considerably higher interest rates. Knowing your partner's credit score is vital, but knowing their entire credit history is even more so, especially if you're in a long-term or committed relationship. It teaches you that you must work together to improve in order to reach your common objectives. Have an open conversation about retirement. Consider where your retirement goals are in sync and where they diverge. Talk about what matters most to you and try to understand what matters most to your partner as well. After you've expressed your retirement goals, speak about how you can work together to make your ambitions a reality. The sooner you know what the other person wants, the more time you have to work toward a compromise and a common goal. Couples must be willing to grow and adapt in order to be truly happy in their relationships. Our needs and wants change over time. Individuals develop and relationships change. And what we need today may not be what we need in the future. Bending, flexing, and agreeing with one another is critical. You should encourage one another to become the greatest person you can be, evolving as individuals and as a team. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.